All right, guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to FIFA 22. And today we're going to start off our brand new Arsenal career mode. Now, I've really been excited to get this game, get into the career mode again. I had a few games last night when I first downloaded it. Um, it's tough. It's a lot tougher than recent years, I have to say. Certainly for the last two, if not three years on FIFA, I've played from the beginning on Legendary Difficulty. That will not be the case this time. I'll be starting off on World Class because Legendary is just so, so tough. World Class is even pretty difficult in itself. But yeah, we're going to start off our Arsenal career mode here. Avatar, cancel. Just going to do a fresh start here. This first part, we might maybe play the opening game of the season. We'll wait and see. But obviously in this first part, we'll be just juggling our team around, you know, putting players out on loan stuff like that maybe trying to bring in a couple of players i have a few players in mind but uh, make sure to smash that like button if you want to see more from this career mode guys i would really appreciate that hit the subscribe button make sure those notifications are turned on so you don't miss any videos coming up but yeah i'm just gonna start start it by setting up my manager here all right so that's that part done and yeah we have all our settings the way we want them i think and our character model set so Let's jump in now to the start. We're going to go obviously with the authentic club and Arsenal as always, my beloved Arsenal. So domestic success is high, continental success is high also. Brand exposure is critical, financial, medium and youth development medium. And we've 78 million in the transfer window as well. So as I said, going to start this one on world class because, as I said, I played maybe five or six games last night on Legendary and I don't think I won a single game. I played okay in some of them, but it's just very, very difficult. So hopefully once we get used to it a little bit more, we can bump it back up to Legendary because, as I said, the last two or three FIFAs, I've just started on Legendary and never even thought about going to Master or to world class. excuse me. Um, but this one, I'm going to have to start on world class i think because it's it's a lot tougher european competitions will leave them enabled but obviously we won't be in them we'll leave the international job offers disabled and we will go with that so yeah a brand new career mode guys as i said if you want to see more all you have to do is leave a like on the video leave a comment let me know you're enjoying it one thing i'd also like to try as well guys but i know absolutely nothing about is ultimate team i have never tried ultimate team in a, in a fifa game um i'd be interested to, to to try it out so let me let me know what you think about that if you'd like to see some of that on the channel as well I'd just like to give it a go nice let's get going in here a warm welcome to you all. our first That's press conference as arsenal team. manager an arsenal rebuild let's see if we can do a pretty good job here at the start of the season. Alright, so we've the preseason tournament as well. We go with the South America Continental Cup. As I said, in this first part, we might try and work our way up to the opening game in the Premier League against Brentford. That's another thing that's good about this year's FIFA as well. They're back. To doing the uh, the proper calendar as well. Last year's one was just a randomised one. This year they have the proper fixtures for each club in each league. So that's uh, that's something I mentioned while I was playing the career mode on FIFA 21 that I wanted to see come back. So we have a training day. We'll have to do a couple of these before we'll be able to start simming them. I'll do that in a second. But let's just have a look at our squad. Okay, so we have all the information we need, statistics, attributes, values, and contract details in here. Development plans, we'll probably be using that. I'd like to switch a couple of players to different positions as well as we go through the season. So we have Burnt Leno, Runnerson, and Ramsdale. Obviously, Runnerson is on loan. Uh, Burnt Leno is an 83 overall. I think he was 85 in last year's game, if I remember correctly. Ramsdale, he's only a 74 starting off. I have to say, I thought he'd be a little bit higher than that. So we'll probably start the season with Leno and just try and get Ramsdale's overall up if we can. This goalkeeper we will be adding to the loan list. Kieran Tierney, 
I was surprised to see Kieran Tierney at an 80, to be honest, which um, some people might disagree with me, but I think he's I think he's become one of the best left-backs in the Premier League. I think if he played for any other club other than Arsenal with the couple of years that we've had, I think he'd be a lot higher than that. Kolasinac, I think I'm going to add him to the transfer list because we uh, we have this new kid from Portugal, Nuno Tavaret. I hope I'm pronouncing that wrong. Or right. I probably am pronoun pronouncing it wrong. With Ben White as well. He doesn't have his official face, which is not a big deal for some people, but it really bugs me when you have players like that and they don't have their real face. Gabriel is the same. A little bit better than last year's model, but still not an official face. And then we have Tomiyasu. It hasn't down as a centre back, but he can play centre back and right back. So I will be trying to get a right back in in this transfer window. So we'll wait and see what's his overall 75. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go up. He's only 22 years of age. So Rob Holding. Probably hold on to Rob Holding as a backup centre back. Pablo Mari. Unfortunately, it's good luck to him. We'll loan this guy out as well. And Chambers, I think we will be loaning out as well because I plan on trying to get Max Ahrens as well. He's down as a right back, Callum Chambers, so he's probably not going to play too often. Cedric, another right back that we won't be using. El Nenny, on as well. Maitland Niles. We'll put Maitland Niles on loan. He's not going to play a whole lot, but I don't want to sell him just yet. Granite Jacket, absolutely disgusted when Arsenal offered him a new contract this season. So I will be adding him to the transfer list as well. Martinelli, we'll be keeping him, good player. Still only 20 years of age. What's his rating, 76? Mm -hmm. Could be a little bit higher, I think, but not bad, I suppose. And this guy, I really like this guy, Lakanga. I really, really like this guy, 21 years of age. Obviously only 73 rating in the game, but that will go up as we progress through it as well. Partey, big fan of him. And Smith Rowe again, 76. Again, he's only 20, so you can understand a little bit why his rating is a little bit lower. But after the season he had last year, I thought it would be a little bit higher. And once again, no official face, which is very disappointing. Martin Odegaard, who we signed from Real Madrid this year, he's thankfully has a, a new face this year. He has the proper face scan. And Bakaya Saka, probably one of our best players. Nicholas Pepe, I like Nicholas, I have to say. He had a pretty decent finish the last season, so we will be holding on to him. Balogun, I think is how you pronounce that. We'll send him out on loan. Ketia, loan as well. And then we come to our main strikers, Lacazette and Aubameyang. Now, I do want to get another striker, because Aubameyang is 32 now in the game, and his rating has dropped down to 85, so... I think that rating is going to drop fairly quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if by the January transfer window in this career mode, he's down to 83. So I have one or two strikers in mind. So if we can get one, I'll be letting Lacazette go and holding on to Aubameyang. But yeah, let's do the training here now. I'll just do it quickly just to get past it. Arsenal appoint Walsh's new boss. Let's go. All right, training will improve player sharpness, but at a cost to their fitness. Players who don't train will regain fitness, but what will be at the expense of some of their sharpness? Okay. A player lacking sharpness will not play to his full potential during matches. Okay, fair enough. If you play training drills rather than sim them, you'll improve your skills as a player. Doing well in them will also improve the level at which your team performs when you sim training sessions. Yeah, that's the mistake I was making last year. I just simmed them from the very beginning, so I'm gonna have to play them, all of them, at least once, and then we can sim it. All right, so we didn't actually do too bad there at all. So we got two A's in the first two and just a B in the last one. So yeah, we'll take that. That's not too bad at all. Two A's and a B. Now, just before we go into this first match against Borussia Dortmund in the cup. Obviously, we have a lot of emails to get through. All right, so a lot of them surprised. Some of them happy enough. And Aubameyang, of course, our captain, greeting us. Transfer offer, 17.5 million. 
<clears throat> you'll receive approach, approaches and offers from clubs looking to buy or loan players from you. You can handle these negotiations yourself or pass them over to your assistant manager. Okay. If you list a player for transfer loan, interest in him will increase and you'll receive more offers from Block offers for a player if you aren't willing to sell him at any price. Player exchanges, of course, we know all about that. That tends not to work out in FIFA, but you never know. But we're going to reject that offer for Martinelli. Not that I would sell him anyway, but it's not nearly high enough. But we'll just sim this opening game. Actually, I haven't looked at my team at all. Sharpness, fitness, morale. Yeah, we pretty much know all about that. Certainly all we need to know on you. Now the formation I'm thinking of is 4-2-3-1. Two sort of holding midfielders pushed these guys into sort of left midfield and right midfield. Then have two holding. Now I'm going to play start off with party alongside Young Lakonga. As I said, really like the kid. With their centre midfield role. Part is the same. We will start with Tamiyasu. So Saka is actually a right midfielder, but I think he can play on the left as well. It's not usually if you're playing a player out of position, you get the the big question mark like we have here. So yeah, it says Tamiyasu is a centre back, but I don't think that's what Arsenal bought him for. He was definitely bought to be a right back, so. We'll have to convert him from that because he will not be being used as a left back or a right back, I should say. And that is for certain. So we'll leave Rob holding on the bridge. Saka or Xhaka is going to have to come off it because we will be selling him. Who are we going to put on the bench for the moment? We'll be bringing a few players in, so obviously, people will be coming in and off the bench. Who will we put in? We'll leave. We'll leave Maitland Niles in there at the moment, down as a CDM as well, just in case. But uh, yeah, we'll leave it the team like that, I think. As I said, I would like to bring in another striker. I have one in mind. And that is Dominic Calver Lewin from Everton. I would really like to get him in. I think he starts the game on 81 or 82, but I think that'll go up. He's only 23 or 24. So another one then is Max Irons to play it right back. And I would like maybe one centre centre back as well. 76 Ben White. I thought that would be a little bit higher as well. But as I said, hopefully that goes up. Not quite sure of how old he is. But I'm excited about having him. That is for sure. But we'll go with that team. As I said, we'll just sim this match against Borussia Dortmund. And then we will have a look at the players we want to bring in. Yeah, we know all about simming matches and quick sim and all that. So... Nothing we need to know there. Quick sim. Now uh, one all draw. Bakaya Saka scoring for us. We were behind actually, so we get a one all draw out of it. Not too worried about the preseason friendlies and yeah, it's just about picking up a little bit of sharpness. A loan deal for Tavares, no. Oh, I went to negotiate. I didn't even mean to do it. I meant to reject it. In negotiation. It was a mistake to start it, so... Alright, let's have a look at the players we want to bring in. As I said, Dominic Calvert-Lewin is the main one I would really like to bring in from Everton. Yeah, 24 years of age. Obviously, once again, we know all about scouting players. We don't need to worry about that too much. So he's not being scouted at the moment, so we'll have to do that. But I'm going to guess he's about 81 or 82, which is what he should be. The other one then is Max Irons. Right back, 21 years old. Showing great potential once again. We're going to have to scout him, but that will only take six days. John Stones. I had him in my FIFA 21 career mode, obviously. Um, if you were watching that, you would know. He 
a little bit expensive though and I'm not sure whether I really want to get him. Another one is Pau Torres. I think I had him in my FIFA 20 career mode actually. Uh, let's see if we can find him here. There he is, 24 as well. I actually thought he was older than that, so that wouldn't be bad. His release clause, though, you can see it there, 111.5 million. So, would be expensive to buy him. All right, so we got to the midfield players now. Obviously, Pedri, or Pedri. Pedri is one that I was looking at, but I like Lakanga, as I said, but it's just a little bit young still and his rating is quite low now Pedri would cost probably an arm and a leg despite the fact he's only 18 but we'll put him in our short list anyway um Bellingham then as well from Borussia Dortmund that would be another one but again he would not be cheap I can imagine he's only 18 as well we'll scout him as well one of my favourite players, to be honest, one of the best midfielders in my opinion, is Kante. Now again, that would cost an awful lot of money, but we'll just add him in anyway. And he is 30 years of age as well, which is the problem. But as you can see there, one of the world's best, and he is one of the world's best. And then just one more striker as well, but I'm pretty sure Dominic Calvert-Lewin is the man I want. It's Martinez for... Juventus, or not Juventus, Inter Milan, I should say. There he is, 23, Lataro Martinez, 67 and a half million. Has that something special, which he most certainly does. But that's what we'll leave our squad hub as, or our transfer hub, I should say. Obviously, we'll have to wait for a few reports on the players that we scouted. But Dominic Calverloon, you can see there he has his new character model as well, with the man bump. 24 years of age. Max Aaron's 21. As I said, had him in FIFA 21. John Stones had him in FIFA 21 as well, but not sure I'm going to get him. Pau Torres, he would be a good signing, but he wouldn't be cheap. Pedri, as I said, really good player, but I think we'd have to play an awful lot to get him. And Jude Bellingham, really like him as well. Defensive work rate high and attacking work rate high as well. He's a big chap as well. What is he? 6-1. Six, six Kante, obviously we know how good he is. And Lataro Martinez. We'll just ponder that for a couple of minutes while we sim through these friendly matches in it. Transfer offer for Pepe from Juventus. Well, thank you. So it's Leon up next. All right, just reminding me to use substitutes. Okay, we'll do that then. Playing in our third kit, which is really, really nice. Smith Rowe, as I said, a bit disappointed he hasn't got his proper character model, but as I said, it wouldn't bother a lot of people, but it, it bugs me, I have to say. Give Ramsdale a start as well. We'll throw Chambers in it right back there as well. Quick, oh, I went to sim match, didn't I? We can just skip to the end, then, yeah. Really... Jump to results. All right, we lost that one as well, 2-1. That's probably us out of the inter uh, the preseason friendlies, but as I said, not too worried about that. Okay, we have a scout report on Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Yeah, as I thought, 81. 32 million. Not cheap, but... We'd probably have to pay in around 40 million for him, but. James Rodriguez, of course, he's leaving Everton in real life, I think. Good for Sigurdsson, he's in the game. Surprisingly. <laughs> Let's have a look at these. Or if we more do we do, we have to do these ones now as well. I'll just play through these quickly. Just It's just to get the grades so that you can sim them. I made that mistake last year of just simming them from the very beginning. But I'll do them quickly now. Alright, so once again, did pretty good there. Two A's and a B, the exact same as last time. So we will take that. Alright, we've got quite a few transfer offers here. Another one for Pepe. 
This time from Man United, 28.9. And then he will be getting rid of him. Saka, not a hope. And then he, what's his market value? 8.9. So, to be honest, I'm just going to accept that. I don't think we'll get much more from him. He is 77 rated. So, if we can agree that deal and get rid of him, we'll all be happy enough, I think. Offer for Kalazanac from Everton. Let's see if we can get a little bit more out of them. We go 6.2. And don't take any less than 4.8. See how we get on there. Rafa Benitez looking for Kalazanac. Quick sim. Probably should have made some changes, but don't think it matters too much. I'd say we'll be out even with that win. Pepe and Thomas Partey with the goals. No, we did actually get through. Just Leon Bess. Borussia Dortmund. They're offering us a right back worth six million and two point nine. No, no, he's worth more than that. We'll get more than that for Granite Jack, I can promise you. Final scout report on Pedri. He's eighty one, forty six and a half million, yeah, it's a bit much now for an eighteen year old as good as he is, so maybe we will look elsewhere. She's Garrett Bale down to uh, an 82 rating now. He is 31 years of age, but I didn't think he'd drop that much. It's a hell of a drop for Garrett Bale. Once again, we'll make a few changes here. Give Lacazette a run as well. Holding. All right, let's go with that then. Just quickly sim through this game. No, it's a 2 0 defeat. So we're out of the preseason tournament anyway, but not to worry. We'll have our first game against Brentford very soon. So El Nenny has been sold. Let's just have a look at our transfer budget. As I said, I think it was 78. Yeah, so with that money coming in and then from the preseason tournament, so we've nearly 90 million to spend. Let's see now if we can get Dominic Calvert-Lewin from Everton. Let's negotiate with Rafa. His Rafa must have been in the gym. He's looking fairly slim there. He's after trimming down quite a bit. <laughs> Let's see what he makes at 37 and a half. I don't think he'll accept that, but. Yeah, 50.2. Let me think. 50.2. How about 43 and a half million? Accepted at 43 and a half million, not too bad at all. We'll negotiate with Dom now, see if we can get him in. That's one thing I just noticed in the player boots there as well. That's something I want to check out. Apparently, there's a lot of old uh, classic boots in the game as well. So we'll have a look at that when we're done here. Maybe when we're done signing the players, we can we can change the boots up. Dominic, he wants to be a crucial. Yeah, I think we can agree to that, I think. As I said, Abame, I am not sure beyond this first season whether I will hold on to him or not. Let's see if he'll go five years. Yeah, that's grand. No, I don't think there's any need to have a release clause. Alright, so he's getting 77,000 at Everton. Oh, jeez, I'm in the millions now. <laughs> 90,000 and a signing on bonus of 250,000. Let's see if he'll accept that. No, 
There you go. Our first signing as Arsenal manager. We've signed Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And obviously, as I said earlier, you know what that means. Unfortunately, we'll be letting Alexander Lacazette go. But as I said, once again, another player whose rating is going to continue to drop. Um, I'm not going to do this one myself. I'm just going to delegate the assistant manager. So he's 75, Max Irons, but as I said, only, only 21 years of age. So market value 10 and a half. We'll start it off at 14 and a half. And go. I don't think we'll have to pay that high, but we'll put it up there anyway. But yeah, we've got Dominic Calvert-Lewin now. That's a good signing. We will add Lacazette to the transfer list. His contract is, in, is expiring in 12 months anyway. So a market value of 25.5 million. So if we could get anything in and around that for a player with only less than 12 months left on a contract, I think we could take that happily. And it would free up the number nine shirt as well for Calvert-Lewin. See a Bamiang, he's still our captain. He's probably going to play a lot of the games, but I will want to try and make way for Dominic Calvert Lewin. We've got a transfer offer straight away for Lacazette from Man City. Interest in Torres. Received an offer for 50 point, 58.7. Okay. No, I'm not paying that for him anyway. I'm not too worried about the defence any in this first season, maybe next next season. Hopefully we'll be in Champions League football. That is the goal to get into the top four this season if we can. But let's see. All right, so that transfer is still ongoing with uh, Kalasinac. But let's meet Pep Guardiola and see what we can get out of him. So what was the offer? 25.7. Okay, so just over his market value. I'm going to see, can I get 30 out of him? 30 million for a 30-year-old. How about that? Give me the money, Pep. Give me the money. All right, so he's not going to pay 30. I didn't expect him to. Let's go 28. 26.1. I keep doing this now, it'll probably walk out on me, but anyway, give me 27. Way too high for us, he won't pay an extra 900,000. That's alright. Okay, Pep, you want to be difficult, that's up to you, my man. But, uh, somebody will get him. Alright, so let's have a look at this one. Do we have to? We have to do this one as well. Christ almighty. Can be a lot of editing in this video, as I said. I'm sure you guys don't want to be watching this, so I'll just do it as quick as I can. All right, so we did really well that time. Three A's that time, nicely done. <laughs> Loan offer for Maitland Niles, but it's from Spurs, so we don't need to think twice about that one. That is a no. We will not be playing again, playing for Spurs. I can promise you. All right, so we have an agreement with Max Aaron's fourteen and a half million. We'll accept that offer. And right, so his weekly wage at Norwich is only 18,000. So I will delegate that to the assistant manager. Start the wage offer at 30. We'll just double that then. I don't think it'll go that high, but just in case. Oh, I didn't even look to see was that one. I just simmed it automatically. Hopefully that wasn't one we needed to play. Accept that for Pablo Mari. And we have an agreement for Kalazanac to go to Everton. All right, let's have a look at this train and sure, please tell me I don't know. We can just sim that. Actually, I need to do one of them. Just do this one long shot practice, okay. We'll just do this one together quickly, seeing as it's only one. Finish there, that was Odegaard, I think. Bamiyang slices across that one. 
Albert Lewin smashes it away. Smith Rowe. And Aubameyang is 0 for 2. And Calvert Lewin is 2 for 2, so. Oh. Oh, that was poor. Aubameyang still can't score. That wasn't great from Calvert Lewin either. Alright, we gotta be. We're gonna try that one more time because that could have been better. Oh. Save. Rifles it in. Once again, it's a B, but we'll accept that. No real harm done. We will simulate the rest of them. Alright, so an important role for Max Irons. We'll accept that. So we've signed now Calvert Lewin and Max Irons. We have an offer from Napoli for Granite Jacket. Start the offer at 20, take 17 if we can get it. Kalazanac, he's on his way out. He's gone to Everton. Thankfully, once again, we could simulate that one. I think we've done them all now. I'm sure maybe there's potentially one or two more. Inter have obviously heard that we've signed Calvert Lewin. They're looking for a Bamiang, not just yet. Maybe next season. Except that one for Cedric. Another one. Reject. And definitely reject. 17.5 million for Martin Ali. I don't think so. All right, we're nearly there, guys. Thank you for your patience in this part. As I said at the start of the video, the first part of a career mode is always a little bit hectic. You don't get to play many matches. It's just about getting your team sorted out. So we have an agreement for Xhaka to go to Napoli, so we will accept that. And so once again, I'm going to have to do this one. Lack is another transfer offer, this time from Leon. Back to his home country. Two and a half, twenty-seven and a half. Let's see if we can get that from Leon. Now I think we finally made it up to the first game of the season against Brentford. We're finally going to play some football. We'll skip that press conference. Yeah, Odegaard is definitely a key player. So just before we start this season, we will have a look at the boots, as I said. Start off with Leno. So Leno is a Puma man. But I think there, I, I saw in a couple of videos I watched on YouTube, there were some old style boots. I think they could be one pair. We have the Nike Merkler 98, the Ronaldo boots, I think. Yeah, R9. Look at them, total 93. I had a pair of them in football boots and in AstroTurf boots maybe 16, 17 years ago when I was a kid. Is it that long ago? It must be now at this stage. Yeah, it would be around that time. Crazy to see them back in the game. Yeah, a couple of vintage old boots. The Merkler Vapor 02. Wayne Rooney, Ronaldo, Thierry Henry wore them as well at Arsenal. 
but definitely some classic boots in the game as well which is nice to, to, to see also all right guys so it's time finally for our first game of the season so we're going to stick with the starting 11 we have in place we will bring on calvert Loom for his debut we are giving a debut to max irons smith roll can come on for odegaard in the second half and tavre We'll go with that. Let's see if we can pick up a win against Brentford. Of course, we lost 2-0 in real life to them on the open day of the season. Hopefully, we can do a little bit better. But finally, we've got around to our first game. As I said, I appreciate your patience. The first part is always a little bit hectic, trying to sort out your team and transfers and stuff. So, we finally made it to the first game. And hopefully, we can start with a win. As I said, starting on world class, we will eventually move up to legendary when we get more used to it. But... And for the moment we've no choice but to start with that the Premier League season always something to look forward to it's Brentford up against Arsenal well the atmosphere is incredible inside the stadium Derek there's a real sense of optimism amongst the fans about the new season and what it might bring it's been a long way but hopefully we get a great game to kick their campaigns off it's actually cool the way the opposition players have the have the kids out with them in the in the opposite kits as well I have to say I really like that Arsenal third kit. It's the only one I don't have. I have the home one and the, the away one that I'm wearing now. I have to invest and get the uh, third one, I think. Right, let's get into it. I think we've waited long enough. First game of the season. Let's see if we can start off with a win. Tackle that's going to be a yellow card early for Thomas Party, I think. Be surprised if he got away with that one. Going tyranny. With a minimum of fuss. Well, it is without question a very special day. This is debut match. Stuart, what should we do? in the him? middle. Well, he's certainly got pace. Oh, he defender just got there. When he can. I didn't Don't think the defender was getting back there for a second, but he did well. It's a good bit of business, and I'm looking forward to seeing him play today. And winning it back. Thomas. Obama Yang. An effective challenge. Johan Wiesa. Onyeka. Oh, good tackle, Gabriel. Oh, he's found Aubameyang and Aubameyang has given us the first goal of the season letting us know that it's not quite time yet to push him out of the team for Calvert-Lewin a little bit lucky with the ball through I thought the defender was going to get it but he gave it back to us well here's the replay the pass over the top has just the right amount yeah, of weight just sort of clipped off the defender's like heel onto finish. us but really hits it with power and crack and finish from Aubameyang one goal in one match goal. captain's goal. contribution Now with Obama Young. Saka. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Well, oh, I think a classic pass was not on. Just then. That Could pass was not on. Pass. Here come Brentford. Jensen. Options. He's using his strength to good effect. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. I'll give him that away. Big chance. Oh, how has he let that go in? And that's one thing I meant to say earlier. I've been watching a few people play FIFA 22 on YouTube. Obviously, a few different content creators. 
the goalkeepers are shocking in it. They really are. like. Wait, till you see this one. How Leno lets this go in, I don't know. It's one thing I've noticed. I, I imagine it will have to be fixed in a, one of the first updates. Like that's not even in the corner. How does he not save that? Oh come on! Like that shouldn't go in. Like you know, it's just ridiculous. And I meant to say that earlier, but I was hoping I wouldn't have to say it. As you can see, that should never have ended up in the net. So we're back to one all. Level pegging once again. And Aubameyang now. That's good football. Pepe, no one in the middle though. Have to try and go backwards. Alright, it's gonna be a it's gonna be one all at half time in the opening day, as I said Leno. I'd nearly take him off for that one to be honest. I think the fact that I have my quick subs already made, I probably would take him off, but yeah, that was pretty poor. Now, how that one went in, I don't know. I like this new stat screen as well. So, we've had 52% of the possession. Expect a goal, 0 0.6. Did we get a yellow card that time as well? We did for Thomas Barty. I was expect expected that. But yeah, I need to be better now in the second half. And Leno definitely needs to be better. Oh, here they come again. Good block. Brentford have started the second half well. I cannot keep the ball. Good strike. Oh, Jesus, my passing has been terrible. Well, the hosts have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes, and they're playing. Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score. Oh, oh it's all. Oh, jeez, I thought Gabriel was going to drag that back into the net with him. All right, so I let off there. Oh, Thomas Party's in. Good movement. Must score. Oh, straight at him. All right, it's time to bring on Dominic Calvert Lewin for his debut. We gave him the number nine jersey as well, despite the fact we haven't sold Lacazette just yet, but. Albert Lewin. He's giving him the captain's armband as well. Okay, no pressure, Dom. No pressure. So the corner played into the box. Disappointing cross and gobbled up by the keeper. Oh, Jesus. Ben White getting a few slaps for himself. He better get back into the fence now, though. Henry. And we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV. It's Brentford facing Crystal Palace. Oh, Tierney read that like a book, son. And breaking at pace with Menace. Man, Saka, it's been a quiet game for him. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Albert Sambi Lokonga. Oh, I didn't mean to go back that Palace. far. I was trying to pass it to Pepe. So a throw in here. Well, they've been getting thick block. It's been a good game, though, I have to say. As I said earlier, the AI is definitely a lot more adaptable than in recent years on World Class. This has been this has been tough, so you can imagine how difficult Legendary is. As I said last night, I played a couple of friendlies, and it was really, really tough. Thomas Party is true again. He just can't get there. But yeah, I definitely think I made the right decision starting for the time being on uh, World Class in here, because... There's definitely enough of a challenge there, and Party wins it back. We get Calvert Lewin in the box. No. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And it backed up. Ah, oh, that's a terrible pass. Terrible pass. Oh, we took him out of it. Somehow the referee's sign for a foul did not come up. The Brentford play on. Options in the middle. Over the touch line for a one-all draw, I think, on our opening game. Here it is now, a substitution. And Unless the Brentford the can catch us out early late on. The Great tackle. Well, the two sides still locked together. Actually only ended up making one of my changes. I forgot about that. Maybe should have done them earlier. Over it comes. <sighs> and 
that is not going to help the cause. The header well off the mark. That's going to be a one-all draw on the opening day, guys, unfortunately. We took the lead with Aubameyang, but in fairness, Brentford in the second half were miles the better team. So our first game as manager in FIFA 22 starts off with a draw. It's better than what we did in real life. We lost 2-0 in real life, so I've made an improvement on, uh, on Mikel Arteta, but uh, tough games coming up again. Chelsea next, Man City. Not going to be easy at all, but... A point on the opening day, and yeah, not the end of the world. It's a really good finish that time from Aubameyang. The goal from Aubameyang, such a prolific scorer. So not the worst start. Could have been a lot worse. Could have lost. Pretty sure it is Chelsea up next in the league. Now stop about it. Bamiya, look, he's given out already. Look, his overall has dropped down already. He's given out already. To do loan offer for Belungen, but it's a loan to buy, so I'd reject it. I'd reject that as well. I'd, I'd rather keep hold Maitland Isles and just loan him out. Yeah, it is Chelsea up next in the Premier League. Stanford Bridge as well. Is it? No, it's at home, I think, isn't it? Yeah, we are at home, yeah. How did Chelsea get on in their opening day? Let's have a look at the opening day fixtures. So, of course, the first match on the 13th of August was us. We drew one all. United winning 4 0. Chelsea 1 2 1. Watford winning 1 0. Liverpool drawn 1 all. Okay. And Man City lost to Tottenham on the opening day as well. Tottenham then drew to all. United won again. Liverpool bounced back with a win. Everton beating Leeds. City winning. Of course, it's Arsenal against Chelsea now. But we will leave that for part number two, guys. As I said, I apologise for the lack of football in this first part. But uh, as I said, a lot of chopping and changing, just trying to get new players in, old players out. But uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you didn't enjoy it, please hit that like button if you want to see more. Um, and let me leave a comment down below Let me know see if uh, you would like to see me do um, ultimate team as well as I said at the beginning but uh, yeah really appreciate your support as I said smash that like button and I will continue to bring it to you but uh, we will be back for part number two in the very near future but until then take care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon peace